got it. It's Luke and Twist again. Welcome back to the December Vlogmas vlogs. Anyway, right, so today, 2nd of December. Oh, it's going a bit blue out there, so that's nice. A bit blue, a bit blue, see clouds, a bit of definition. It's very quiet though, there's no wind, but that's nice and it's dry, which is even nicer. Um, so yeah, what shall we do today? Well, today. I've had recently, I might not have been doing much else with my back and stuff, but I could do some nano spins and stuff. So I had some, a few little skeins, which I want to make, um, all the hand spun I've decided, which I'm not using for specific projects like yesterday's cowl, will be going into a Stephen West Penguano, which I've seen, and Chevy Rail made a fab one, and I've seen a couple of others. Anyway, so these are some of my, um, they're not, not, well, some are more consistent than others, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Um, there are some weird colour combinations going on at the minute, but I'm going to have to plan a bit more, I think. But I think I'll just start spinning braids and just see what I get up to, really. And I can always buy more braids later, can't I? Anyway, right. Um, there's been a few charity things going on recently, what with COVID and everything else, and also on fruity knitting. Um, where Andrew is not very well at all and a lot of the dyers, the indie dyers have been doing yarns where they make um, a considerable amount of the proceeds will go to Andrew and Andrea over on Fruity Knitting because they have no income now um, he's quite seriously ill at the minute so and the vet, but, and vet the, the bills, the med bills in Australia are quite high so my favourite dyer, who is, as we know at the minute, Fruitful Fusion. Uh, I can't say that right. Ishra, Fruitful Fusion. Has, oh, she's got some beautiful stuff that she's on sale. Well, I got, I looked at this one. I thought, oh, this is nice. Even though it's double knit. Uh, well, even more so because it's double knit. <laughs> Look at this. Gorgeous beauty. It's called Notebook. It is absolutely fabulous. There's everything in there. Brown, purple, blues. Um, it's gorgeous. And it was on sale, so I don't feel quite as guilty for buying it. Anyway, it's um 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, double knit, as I said, 100 grams. So because it's double knit, it's 225 meters. It's a little bit less. I might have bought another one. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, so that's that one. Lovely packaging, isn't it? She does this lovely, lovely, eco-friendly packaging. And what else was in here? Uh, oh, yes. Not a card normally, but this is sold out now, unfortunately. I wish I bought more. It's another double knit. It's 50 grams. And it's 100% superwash merino. And it's called Sparkling Apple. And now I really like it. Now I've seen it, of course. They're sold out. All the... Um, Oh yeah, those two together. It's blowing out a little bit, but it's going a bit dark in places. But it's not too bad for colours. Ah, that's more pinky. But there you go, that's lovely. And then, grayscale. Well, you can't beat a bit of grey. And it's nice because it's got these little, whether you can see that, there's a little sprinkle of greeny colours in there where we've the, got some very gentle speckling. Um, oh, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Again, 100% superwash merino, and it's singles this time. So singles means it doesn't have a lot of twist in it. I know this now, being a spinny, you see. Um, four ply fingering, 100 grams, but 400 meters since it's um, fingering weight, which is four ply. And then this. Oh, now I, I, I'd missed the cut off. And um, she says, right. And she very kindly said, no problem, put you in. She's, it's the first time ever she's done um, a yarn club. And it was called Wanderlust. Yeah, Wanderlust, a yarn club. And I've got a base that I've not really got before. Well, apart from I might have got one in the occasional D stash. But I've deliberately bought this. And it's 74% baby shuri alpaca, 26% mulberry silk. Heavy lace weight, 50 grams, 300 metres. So it is thin and it's designed that you actually um, would use it with another yarn. <sighs> I tell you, I'd normally have gone for like um, 
the fingering weight or sometimes BFL look at this the greens aren't showing up but they're a lot lighter in green than they're showing up and you get this lovely lovely little stitch marker knit by Ishra as well which is gorgeous absolutely beautiful i am so chuffed with this it's gorgeous as always um yeah i need as you can tell i do like Ishra's yarns and um oops i might have bought the charity skeins for food knitting and then this week before obviously she's dying up my stuff i saw she had another thing on and it was for what was the charity for now oh good god i've forgotten um, if you look on her Instagram, you'll see it, and it's another charity. Fireworks, fireworks, is not, yeah, it's for it was for Bonfire Night, obviously. I think it was for Yorkshire Yarn Fest, which I totally missed because I was working that weekend, and then I was sleeping in the daytime, so <laughs> I totally missed it. And I'd seen fireworks before, and I thought, God, that's really, really nice. I'll try and remember and put a picture here. Um, oh no, I'm not editing, am I? Oh no, can't do that. I'm not editing. But we'll see anyway. So it's it's sort of black and it's got these tiny little pops of um, colour, of pinks and, and golds. And what she's done is she's shown it with a crochet sample because she's doing, and I've forgotten what the um, what this shawl is called. I've forgotten. I, should, I haven't made notes. I'm just doing it straight off the bat. So, um, yeah, that's gorgeous. Absolutely stonking. And again, BFL wasn't uh, BFL was up, but I think it was or not B BFL anyway. So um, yeah, two of those. Yeah, they've um, slipped in there as well. So that'd be nice. But the best thing I'm expecting because what we're now the second um, end of the month, end of November. I won. I won something. I actually won something. Uh, candy gram from oh good God, die, is it die candy? Die Candy Fans Facebook group. I think it was that. It's called a Candy Gram. And um, they, do, they do this like 88 dips. So you pay £2 per dip. And uh, they draw it. And then those lucky people, I think there's like three or five sometimes, depending. She said, I think it's just five on this. And you get, if you win, you get a Candy Gram. I'm not really sure what a Candy Gram is. Um, I mean, I have seen a couple come up now in D-Stash, so I reckon it's either, it can be two yet, two skeins, and once I saw five skeins, somebody was said it was a candy gram they didn't like, Bill and Ted one, which I really, really wanted, and I did not win it. So I've tried a few times, and I've just done like one or two, so I'm really, really excited, because I can't wait, and it was my, what's it called, my dad's mineral collection, so it, the picture was there, and it was like, um, the mineral collections that you see with the rocks, on each step going up and these were i think um were these the day mm, were these the neon ones in black light i'm not sure i can't remember but i'm so excited i can't wait until they come so they should be due um this week because they said they post them out oh sunshine out sunshine's come out that's lovely oh nice autumnal sunshine um right yeah so i'm really really excited for that and um yeah, can't wait. <laughs> so that'll make my vlogmas up, I'll tell you. Um, now, apart from that, I'm trying to think what else is going on. Oh, we had a Spinners Guild meeting on Saturday, which is really great. Well, when I say meeting, it was a Zoom, obviously, because you can't meet up nowadays, can we? So that was a Zoom. That was great. Um, trying to think what else there is. Oh, I should just show you a picture of the lovely sunshine outside, which I might do. But anyway, hope you're all keeping well. Um, it's a, yeah, it's one of those funny times of year. I mean, I know I felt a bit down. And I think, um, from what I feel, a lot of other people are feeling down. doesn't help with all the COVID restrictions. Oh, now we're into tier. Because it's Wednesday, the restrictions are lifted, lockdown is off. But now we're in tier, well, I think we're in tier two in this area. So it's effectively it's slightly less of a lockdown. But the shops are open today which I had hoped to go in um, and get some pies, virtual pies. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it's getting a bit late in the day now. So what I might need to do is I'll record something tomorrow quickly. 
in the morning. Oh, I might just nip into town first and then record when I get home when the light picks up a bit. Because we don't have a lot of light at the minute. I, for one, cannot wait until the return of the light until, yeah, it comes around. Anyway, just show you the garden. Oops, my camera fell a little bit. Anyway, so you can hopefully see. That's actually quite nice out there at the minute. Well, what else to say at the moment? Oh, fluffiness. <laughs> That's my first proper drafting on the um, carder. Hey, look at this. It's like, like a wig. I could wear it. Perhaps not. But you see what it is. And this is my, is this wobblies? Do you know, I really need to tag things as I do. I mean, I can see where people say, put a tag on it straight away. I um, need to do that. Yes. But it's fluffy and it's like like um, like holding a cloud. If it could hold a cloud, is this imagine what holding a cloud could be like? I get a bit of VM out there. Oh yes, you don't. You just think you've got all the dirt out. Do you know? I think this is my black Welsh mountain. I'm pretty certain it is. But anyway, that. Oh oh, there's one more thing I can show you. I just remembered. One sec. It's in my bucket. Right, so here we have. Oh god, it could be either. Could be Zwobbies, could be Black Welsh Mountain. I seriously need to start tagging things down now. Let's just get a piece of VM out. Right, so woohoo! Locks. From the sheep. It is washed. Um, I love this stuff. Black Welsh and Zwobbers are both the same. They've got these lovely little tips on them. Now, is it Black Welsh? Oh, sorry now. Why don't I label things? Yeah. Now, I know up there. Oh, damn. Right, I'll have to do some labelling, I think, after this. Anyway, so. It's warblies. I'm pretty certain that's warblies, you know. This. Oh, God. I don't even know anymore. <sighs> right, I think that's Black Welsh Mountain. But I think that's all the stuff I was... Yeah, this is Black Welsh. I was cutting off all the... The dandruffy bits, which I was landing up. I stuffed too much in the buckets in my enthusiasm in the summer when I was washing, so I had a lot of fleeces to wash. And unfortunately, uh, it looks like dandruff. So I've um, I've cut it out. But apparently, the Spanish girl said that's fine. Um, they do that for their classes. I said, well, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Anyway, so we've got these lovely. Lovely poofy pom poms. I think I can show you them all. Woo! <laughs> like tribbles. If anybody remembers the Star Trek episode, the trouble with tribbles, here you go. So, as you can see, oh, that's quite nice. It's alpaca, um, could be swarblies, you know. I have a feeling this is swarblies. Um, Oh god, I can't remember. Anyway, it's alpaca, it's wobblies, and um, or oh, Black Welsh Mountain. Could be either, not sure. So, what I've done is I've drum carded it, I've taken it through for three passes, and uh, split the bat every time it came through. So, I'll split it and then fed it through again. And it's got lovely little tufty balls. For a hat for my husband. Not like that, obviously. Um, yeah, I need to spin that, actually, because his birthday's next week, so I'd better get a move on with that. Would help if I knew what I was spinning, though, wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah, so that's done. That's done. Um, yeah. I think that's it, then, now. I think, we'll, I think we'll stop there, because I'm rambling, and you don't want to just hear me rambling on, do you? So, um, right. So, day two Vogmas over. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay, you take care now. Bye-bye.